Hi, this is Brent with Studio One Expert, and in this free four-part series, we're going to be looking at the Waves Content Creator Audio Toolkit, and there's never been a better time to invest in this package, because with everyone working remotely, and people working across things like Skype and Zoom, uh, podcasting and recording audio is becoming more and more the norm, so trying to get a good sound from it is a lot harder than you might think, but not with the Waves Content Creator Toolkit. Let's have a listen to an example from a podcast here which has three voiceovers and an intro sting i'm going to play it without any of the waves plugins on it and then with it and then we're going to start with this first chapter looking at the ns1 plugin so let's have a listen do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like la2a 1176 and you know fairchild and so on yep exactly that yeah yeah i agree yeah, you could technically do it with whatever type of compressor you would want to use. Yeah, I agree. But also, I think that you should talk about different ways that you can learn these skills. And So I'd imagine that sounds quite familiar to anyone who's been getting used to doing conversations over the internet with things like noises from either windows being open or machinery in a household. It's all very common and it can be fixed, which is the nice thing. So if we look at each individual channel here, the first one is definitely the best. And usually you will have a vocal that is the standout feature on either recording or a podcast. But this is not always a great thing because what it does is it outshines the other tracks. So this one is definitely better than the other two. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 11... And the reason is there's not really any background noise there, and we have quite a consistent dynamic range. Now, what we mean by dynamic range is there's not anything that's super loud and then super quiet, whereas if we listen to the following two here, I can already hear on this one... Yep, exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It sounds like we have some sort of radio on in the background and it also sounds like they're in an extremely reverberant place, probably a kitchen because that seems to be an office if people don't have the option of an office. So there's a lot of issues with that channel. And then similarly with this channel, it sounds like they're near some sort of fan or something. Yeah, I agree. But also I think that you should talk about different ways that you can learn these skills. So we can hear all of these present an issue and when it comes to mixing them into one that's when it starts to become worse and worse but there's a really simple way around it and it actually couldn't be easier than using this Waves NS1 mono plugin. So if we just um, engage everything we have here which is NS1, the Greg Wells voice centric and then on the master fader I have the playlist rider and the WLM plus. Let's have a listen to things now. And just take that over. So let's have a listen. Do you think it's easier to learn compression if you look at different things like LA2A, 1176, and, you know, Fairchild and so on? Yep, exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically do it with whatever type of compressor you would want to use. Yeah, I agree. But also, I think that you should talk about different ways that you can learn these skills. So as you can hear, all of this audio is repairable. And the first thing we're going to look at if we bypass everything else is just the NS1 plugin. So the NS1 plugin is basically a noise suppressor. And the nice thing about this is almost anyone can use this. Not almost anyone, anyone can use this. It is literally a 0 to 100 fader. And it's sort of like a noise gate and a bit of a downward expander. And basically what it does is it filters out room noise. And when speech is detected, um, the noise suppressor circuit bypasses and, and it waits for the actual room noise to reappear to then engage the circuit. So if we look at this second track in particular, and the reason is this is the one that had the most room noise with the reverb and what sounds like a radio, let's have a listen to what the NS1 does to this track. Yep, exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically do it with... So the yellow level here... You would want to use. It shows the room noise that it's bringing down. And if you listen to when the speech kicks in. Exactly that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you could technically. The yellow indicator reduces right back to zero. To so you get a nice blend of natural speech, but it really does remove a lot of that room noise. Similarly with this last track, if we finish off with the NS1, there's really not much to say here with such a simple and easy plugin to use. Um, it's, it's another similar story. I've just adjusted the fader accordingly from zero to 100. 
and you would do the same with your audio. So let's have a listen. Yeah, I agree, but also I think that you should. So there's no talk noise suppressor there at zero. You can learn these skills and apply them in real world situations rather than learning how you should. So that's the Waves NS1, and I'll see you in the next video when we look at the Greg Wells Voice Centric.